Hey everyone, today I'm taking a look at the Jurassic Park Velociraptor Chase Set. Jurassic Park is certainly one of the reasons I love movies. It was an instant classic and blew my mind when I went to see it in theaters. Now in LEGO, we've gotten quite a few Jurassic World sets, but this set was the first Jurassic Park specific set. It was released in 2018, retailed for $39.99, and contains 360 pieces. This build has a lot going on, perhaps because it was the first set to depict scenes from the original film, LEGO felt like they had to pack a lot in because who knew if we were going to get anything else. So they managed to get three distinct areas into this little setup. The first and largest is the main control room. This features a locking door to try to keep the raptor out a breakaway window for when the raptor is trying to get in, this telephone for when the phones finally start working again, also a wrench, umbrella, and radio as accessories, with the radio being the one that actually makes sense for the scene, a ladder build for the escape, and this little computer setup with a nice easter egg of Nedry on there. The next area is the embryo storage area. It's not super accurate, but I think at this scale they did an excellent job. You get this build representing eight embryos in whatever kind of cryo freeze they use in the movie, and it sits on this platform outside the door to the control room. There's also this camera, probably to represent the cameras that Nedry needs to shut down. There's also this little build that represents a Barbasol can. I've seen some nice custom prints of Barbasol cans, so it would have been great if LEGO could have given us something like that. But I have to wonder if licensing was a concern. Finally, there's the kitchen build. It contains some pots and pans, as well as the green jello that shakes right off Lex's spoon. There's a place for some utensils to hang, like they did in the movie, and a cabinet for Lex and Tim to hide in. This part of the build is probably the most scaled down to fit a set of this size, but it's a nice inclusion. We also get four great minifigures with this set, three of which are exclusive to it. First up is Dr. Alan Grant, who has front and rear torso printing, a single-sided face, a hat, and alternative hairpiece. He also has this stud shooter gun, which I think is meant to represent the gun he has in the control room scene. This minifigure appears in two sets, and the rest are all exclusive to this set. Next up is Dr. Ellie Sattler. She features front and rear torso printing, dual molded legs with great printing on them as well, and two facial expressions. We also get Lex Murphy, who again has front and rear torso printing, short legs, and two facial expressions. And Tim Murphy, who also has front and rear torso printing, short legs, and two facial expressions. Finally, you get a vicious Velociraptor. I love LEGO's Velociraptor design, and especially the coloring they did on this particular one. You can almost hear that distinctive screech. And there it is, the Jurassic Park Velociraptor escape set. Overall, a cool set with plenty of little details from the movie, and I have to say the design work on the decals for this set is pretty stellar. So, does it capture what you wanted to see? Let me know in the comments. I have more videos planned, so please be sure to hit subscribe and turn on notifications to see when those are released. Thanks for hopping on the bandwagon today, and remember, when you're building with bricks, anything is possible.